Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Furman 3300 watt portable RV dual fuel inverter generator with the electric start. Now this 3300 watt generator will provide electricity for your home, your work, or your play, and it uses a very easy electric start. It is a dual fuel capability, which provides flexibility during trips or in an emergency has a four-stroke 171 cc dual fuel engine that'll use either standard unleaded gas or propane. No need to mix any gas and oil like on a two-cylinder engine. Does use cast iron cylinder sleeves to help ensure a nice long engine life. And I mentioned it's an electric start engine so it does offer easy push button, push button start up. Right here is the button to push to start it. Also offers this ergonomically designed recoil handle that will reduce the effort to pull start the engine if the need arises. Now I did want to zoom in on there and talk about some of the connections on front. So on the front here it will give you a, right over here, there's a 12 volt DC outlet, 8.3 amps. It will also give you a 5 volt, 2.1 amp USB outlet right here. And they all have covers on, you can see, which is nice, keeps any dirt out. Also has this, pull the cover up, there's your larger 120 volt 30 amp TT30R, provides an RV connection point. Put the cover back on, and then down here, you can see it offers 120 volt 20 amp 520R duplex outlet. This will power any household appliance or tools. And as I mentioned, if you notice, all of those plugins have covers on it. Those will help keep out any moisture or debris. It does have push to reset the circuit breakers. That'll stop the power flow to connected devices if an overload is detected. Right here, there's a little readout. That's a three-in-one data minder. It'll monitor voltage, frequency, and running hours. And if we swing it around to this other side, this is your muffler right up front here. It does offer a whisper series muffler to ensure quiet operation. It won't drown out any campground conversation. Right here, they do use an arrestor. It's a USDA Forest Service certified spark arrestor. Prevents release of any flammable debris. <clears throat> now the safety features on this, to promote accident free use, has a light up indicator that will turn on when low oil is detected. The engine automatically stops if oil level is too low for safe use. And it has an automatic voltage regulator to help minimize voltage fluctuations. The wheels on it, let me zoom back out. These are five and a half inch diameter heavy duty wheels. And in the front here has this nice fold down handle. You just pop it up just like that. And then you can lift up on it, it'll roll on the wheels. So it makes a very easy mobility. <clears throat> the engine in it is a nice clean running engine, meets the CARB and the EPA standards. A few specs on that engine. The starting surge power output, if you use it as gas, would be 3300 watts. If you use it as propane, is 3,000 watts. The running rated power output for, as gas would be 3,000 watts. Propane, 2,700 watts. Now this part does come with everything shown here on the table, just to go through them. Comes with the generator. Right here it comes with this five foot long propane hose with the regulator. Basically when you hook this up to your propane, then you have your plug that'll plug right into here on the side. And then right above it is another little plug for the power. Once you get that connected, hook that to your propane, and it can run off propane. What's nice, if you notice, it has this nice clip on it, spring-loaded clip, that'll allow you to just hook it to the handle there. <clears throat> Comes with a 12-volt DC battery float charger right here. Comes with a battery charge cable that you can plug in and charge the battery on there. Comes with a container of 10 weight or 10 W30 engine oil comes with the oil funnel to get it in there spark plug wrench screwdriver and then a nice owner's manual and a quick reference guide <clears throat> noise level on this is 58 decibels normal conversation is about 60 so it's pretty quiet the fuel type we mentioned is either gasoline or propane fuel tank capacity is 1.8 gallons you can see it's right at the very top here put your fuel right in there. Oil capacity is 20.3 ounces and as I mentioned it comes with the 10W30 that's the recommended oil for it. I do want to give you some dimensions on this. 
the overall length of this. If we go about 23 inches long, the height on the unit is going to be right at about 17 inches tall. And the width on it, I just spin it around this way, is going to be right about 17 inches wide. The dry weight on this is about 108 pounds. One note I do want to mention that as gas generators will produce carbon monoxide, which is poisonous, so for safety you always want to make sure to operate the gas power generator outdoors. And then again, just to spin it around to show you, the front is where your muffler comes through. We mentioned the swing up handle. And on the other side, you can actually, there's Phillips screws here that if you unbolt them, you could take that off and get access to maintain your engine on the inside. So very nice design. But that should do it for the review on this Furman 3300 watt portable RV dual fuel inverter generator with the electric start.